and once you're happy with it we are now going to add some final details okay so just one when, when you're still holding your clayfish make sure that you double check that your initials and your um, class name is still on the bottom of your clay fish um, this will be the last time you see your fish before it goes into the kiln to dry out so just make sure that your details are on the fish um, I'm now going to go ahead and just add some details onto the fish and I can't hold and do that at the same time so I'm just going to create my details and then show you in a minute but basically what I'm doing is using um, a tool to just create marks that makes the texture of the um, of the fins so just something like that and I'm going to work on that a little bit more but I've actually just sprayed water and it's quite hard to uh, draw onto that so I'm going to work on another section and usually on the fins the lines just go upwards and towards the back so you need to make sure that you finish one side first and then you can move on to the other side. But when you do that, you need to make sure that you match up both sides. Okay, so just, um, I like to count the amount of lines that I've drawn on one side. Seven lines, and that helps me to um, make sure it looks similar on both sides. You don't have to be as precise. You can just do it freehand. As realistically, the fish would not look the exact same on both sides. But yes, just spend the last um, lesson just adding your details and finishing off any last details on your fish. Good luck, everyone. I'm looking forward to. Uh, seeing your finished results and I hope that you enjoyed this project this is my finished outcome there we go sorry it's difficult to show so that's what it looks like on the front the back and on the other side as well Good luck everyone!